Let's see the recent maritime accidents. In Bangkok's fairway, the container ship Santa Lucia and the cargo ship 1HAI-272 collided, on January 28, close to buoy 9, 1HAI-272 and Santa Lucia crashed in the Bangkok approach fairway. Wanhai 272 experienced portside damages in the four-cargo deck area and was left at the collision site, where it is likely that it became grounded or became entangled with a buoy. Despite having cargo deck damage, Santa Lucia was still able to continue her journey and made it to her intended port of Bangkok the same day. Fire broke out in the cargo ship GUO Zen 1, killing one crew member in Hong Kong. The cargo ship GUO Zen 1's engine room caught fire off the coast of Hong Kong's Lama Power Station. Twelve people were evacuated, one crew member perished, and the fire was put out in roughly two hours. Soon after the fire started, it is believed that the ship anchored off of the power station and stayed there. Panama Canal Fire Aboard Container Ship Cape Corsia, on approaches to Balboa in the Panama Canal. The Cape Corsia caught fire, apparently in the engine room. Firefighters from Panama City put out the fire before transporting the ship to Panama International Terminal PSA, Balboa. Fire that was understood to be only in the engine room. Reefer Amber Baltic under tow in a choppy Okotsk Sea, Reefer was taken under tow by salvage tug SPRAVEDLIVYJ and towed to Petropavlovsk. In Okotsk Sea, Reefer Amber Baltic's engine failed, rendering it unusable. Stormy weather and ice conditions make towing difficult. Fire on a bulk carrier, Portland, USA, on January 31st at Portland, Oregon, the bulk carrier Breeze experienced a fire in the superstructure, allegedly in the service compartment, laundry. After the fire was put out, the fire squad left the ship. Unknown damage extent, no reported injuries. MSC Faith, a container ship, runs aground in Singapore Strait. Shortly after departing Singapore on its way to Yentian, China, the container ship MSC Faith ran aground at around LT 2000 on January 31st in Singapore Strait halfway between Singapore and Rio Islands. Had tugs working on her as of 10.50 LT on February 1st. She was still in the same position, grounding of the LNG tanker Grace Amelia at Suez, on February 1st, the LNG tanker Grace Amelia capsized in the Suez Canal, was brought to Great Bitter Lake after being refloated around three hours later with the help of tugboats. Supposed to have experienced some sort of problem, while Egyptian authorities claim that the tanker might have been grounded by a high wind. At Eemshaven, Netherlands, the ferry Romantica detached from her moorings. In Eemshaven, Netherlands, on February 1, an unexpected gust of gale force wind caused the ferry Romantica to break free of her moorings. Ferry left the quayside and was constantly contacted even though it had no passengers on board. Both the support vessel Windia Jules Verne and the offshore supply tug Saptor sustained damage. MSC Colliery 4, a container ship, lost contact with her moorings in Wilhelmshaven, at the Wilhelmshaven Container Terminal, MSC Colliery 4 lost her grip on her moorings. She was towed to a berth after being brought under control by tugs. On February 2, the ship was berthed and being stabilized by two tugs. Vietnam's Oriental Glory bulk carrier explosion left eight people hospitalized. On February 2, in the early hours, an explosion took place on board the dry docked bulk carrier Oriental Glory at the Nasco shipyard in Haiphong, Vietnam. Eight employees were hospitalized for burns and other injuries. Since late January, the ship is undergoing repairs, accident took place on board general cargo ship Brahim Shimshek, on February 1, near the Kartal Harbour in Istanbul's Marmara Sea, a terrible tragedy took place on board the general cargo ship Brahim Shimshek. One crew member was crushed to death after becoming trapped between folding hatch covers in a moving cargo compartment. Minor fire on the cruise liner Viking Orion, Sydney, on February 3, a fire reportedly broke out on board the cruise ship Viking Orion in White Bay, Sid Bay, and spread to three cabins. All passengers and non-essential crew members went ashore while the fire was put out in less than an hour. Except for three cabins, there were no reported injuries, thus there were no additional damages. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video.